Hello, my name is uh, Olivia Bova. I'm a psychologist and counselor social emotional. Uh, with my creative talk, I would like to share with you the amazing life and ideas of people around the world because uh, each person is unique and special. Hello, today we are uh, with uh, Li Xuan. Uh, Li Xuan is um, from, uh, from China and uh, she's uh, in uh, Beijing. And uh, so Li Xuan, uh, thank you so much for being here. And uh, please, can you talk about you, uh, who you are, um, what, um, what you, you are doing in, uh, in China, in Beijing, and uh, we would like to discover yourself, your project. You are a very creative person, so please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Olivia. Hello, I am Li Xuan. My name is Li Xuan. I am Chinese. I'm from Beijing. Uh, and I have, I'm an architect. Um, I'm 41 years old. <laughs> it's not a secret, I can say it. Uh, so, um, uh, I am doing a creative job, yes, uh, architecture design, and I'm doing also interior and the landscape and urban design sometimes. Uh, so I have um, my own studio named uh, Entre Architecture. It's French name because oh, it's I French have, name. <laughs> uh, it's a French name, and I have, because I have French studying uh, background. And I have a mixed culture, Chinese, French culture family because my husband is French. Okay. So make the whole my life from <laughs> university to now and it's quite a uh, mixed culture. So I'm used to work in a, a multicultural environment, uh, studying in multi in multicultural language and environment. So, mm, that's my uh, career and I have a second role and second career which is uh, I'm also working in education field. I am not an educator uh, but I am one of the founder of uh, Montessori, Montessori um, kindergarten in China in Beijing which is the first uh, French Chinese bilingual uh, Montessori kindergarten, uh, still now the only one I think, and um, is it the only one in in Beijing? Is it, yes, it's the only one Montessori bilingual. I mean, mm -hmm. French Chinese. We have another one. We are two in Beijing, but uh, okay. Montessori we are the only one. The only yes. one. Okay. The first one and the only one, <laughs> and this year it's the eighth year of our school. I'm oh. very proud of my both uh, post, uh, both um, job I mean <laughs> <laughs> how, how you can uh, you can manage your your time with the two busy job because architect is very 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 busy and also manage mm. school uh, is, is a lot of work too so <laughs> yeah and also I think it's the motivation make yourself uh, it's not it, it is busy I suppose I, I imagine it's very busy but I don't feel uh, like tired about my busy life because uh First, the design is my passion. So I like the design. I like to feel, um, I mean, you know, when I submit a project, when I finish uh, construction, when I see the building, mm -hmm. uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> proud of myself. And so it's just about passion. So when you are motivated about something and you don't feel it's tired, you can work until late, but you don't feel like you, 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 you have to. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not doing something that I have to do. I'm doing something because I want to do. Uh, the school is completely random decision because first, uh, we decided to have kids and <laughs> so I'm also yeah I have another job it's being mother <laughs> I have two daughters and these two uh, daughters make me I mean seven eight years ago um, we my husband and I were 
looking for school adapted to our kind this kind of multicultural families and which is uh, very difficult to find a school we can be satisfied so uh, we just think why not we do it by ourselves i don't know if, if it's because i am an architect and maybe the problem solving is coming from the natural part like uh, oh we don't have it let's do it let's create one right uh, because yeah, well, we always design nice. from the from the paper and then we built it and the school must be the same but i have to say i was wrong and the school is not the same <laughs> but but the beginning the random decision was really uh, uh, made by uh, by our need and by i'm not afraid about it because i really want to do mm -hmm. i want to do it for my daughter so it's for ourselves first and then i met also two uh now is one of my best friends as well so my two other partners at that so we were three to create this school and uh, from the moment we decided to do it together so julie Natalie, and i we are three girls from the moment we make the decision until we open the school, it took only four and a half months, which okay. is incredibly fast. Is it, yeah, it's incredibly really fast. fast. Yeah, usually. Yeah. Very fast. Uh, first, it's not a campus like uh, ten classes. It's only one class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you need the, you needed to find the, the the right place. Because I don't know how it's work in China, but I know in uh, in Europe, especially in French, uh, it's very difficult to, to find the the place because yeah. they, there are a lot of rules. So, but, um, uh, that's why we chose the um, traditional uh, courtyard because traditional courtyard is in the city center. First, it's very well located, and then it's very safe. It's one floor, it's the houses, and traditional Chinese houses, and with one small courtyard. So it's perfect, la maison, uh, sorry, it's French, uh, it's children's house, right? We always say children's house as Montessori concept, and that's the house, the house for children. So I'm architect and I, I, I just made everything adapted to children from the safety point of view. Uh, and uh, one of my partners, Julie, was also Montessori educator. So she is taking care of the education part. Natalie, which is an um, uh, emotion, social emotional uh, coach, uh, very experienced and uh, 10 years living in China. So she has a lot of networking as well. So we were just a perfect uh, um, um, team yeah, to yeah. make the kickoff of uh, this um, beautiful project mm -hmm. for ourselves for our communities and for our friends. At the beginning, it was very simple. We didn't think about how to earn money, how to uh, uh, how to deal with the government, with the okay. uh, authorities. No, that was not even in our plan. And I think that's why it was fast. And then, of course, all the problems are coming okay. after. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but it's never... Um, um, scared us and just to make us to to do it because in fact we we know we are doing the right thing we know that uh, our community in Beijing need that so we were very motivated because we feel a lot of uh, energy coming from the feedback of the community around us uh, push us to make it better so that's yeah. the start of my Best. another story <laughs> Great and um, and the, so the uh, how, how many how many children you have in the beginning and then the school or who you start the... the the first location is only one class and the maximum was sixteen kids, but at the beginning when we open the school it's only six children including the mine oh, and okay. Natalie my partner's one so actually we have only four kids which is not our, our, ours ourselves okay. uh, so we have four kids and then we took the whole year to 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 fill the the place so at the end of the first year we were 16 
it oh. was very difficult. We have to do a lot of work on the weekend, do some open houses, explain who we are, and make the, the parents uh, trust our environment because we are really thinking only about the ch children, not always the families and the parents. Mm -hmm. So we are um, pushing our concept and, and our ideas. It's an ideal uh, school in, at that moment, even more ideal than today, I would say. Uh, because we were just making for ourselves and that's it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, yeah and uh, that's uh, the very beginning and now we moved uh, because it was too small uh, we moved to a new location now we have four classes and we have a capacity uh, maybe 90 students maximum but we have only 65 today okay. Well, it's good. It's, uh, it's very, <laughs> and the, the project is uh, become a uh, few, become more grow. Why you want to grow? And uh, because now um, is is a kindergarten. Do you think, uh, or do you dream, or maybe uh, you also have maybe elementary and uh, I don't know uh, middle I, school. <laughs> yeah. We elementary uh, will not be for my own kids because they are just uh, already too big. But of course, my director Tristan's kids are thinking also about how to, you know, our school is a community school. It's not really, uh, you know, um, international title, the school. It's not that kind of school. So we are working for ourselves first. Uh, we, we, we are looking for opportunities to extend the capacity to six to 12, of course. Uh, we have another friend, Alessia, uh, in front of our school also ah, yes. doing yes. that. From, you, you know her, right? Uh, from six to 12. Uh, yeah, but a lot of things to, to, a lot of things to do still. So yeah, I would like, if I meet the right person, if I feel uh, something I, uh, makes sense to me and to my surroundings, I think I will, I will, I, I will help uh, and make the team and uh, make the dreams, uh, our dreams comes true. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I, I, it's, a, it's a very, um, how, um, ah, yeah, question, why Montessori? Uh, because, uh, because but Montessori is the only method, I believe, I mean, uh, I'm not an educator, uh, maybe I don't know so many methods, but from the method I, I have known, it's the only one can really do bilingual, because we have one Chinese lead teacher, another one is French, and that both of these uh, educators are speaking their own language to the children. We the same uh, material with the same environment, but in both language. If it's another method, if it's more traditional one, it has to be English classes, French classes, and uh, culture classes, music classes, and it's not it's not really uh, environmental. Mm -hmm. And I believe the culture, the language is not the main thing. Uh, actually, it's um, we have mixed culture and mixed language environment. And I think before six years old, that that's feasible because after six years old, you have to think about, oh, I have to make the test at 15 years old. I have to do, uh, you know, the final uh, at 18 years old, I, you know, the exams, uh, they have too many obligations and following their countries. Uh, education uh, department are making some rules for, for every citizens. So after six years old, it's becoming a little bit too much, um, uh, you know, too much responsibilities of the kid um, because they, 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 they don't always have choices. So I think before six years old first, and the Montessori is perfect for environmental, um, uh, everything environmental. <laughs> so you you are you are happy with the um, with your uh, your first cho choice uh, your uh, choice yeah. the story and uh, you you don't uh, you don't regret it. Uh, no, and actually doing the school make me understand better the human being um, mm, 
human beings and the behaviors and uh, attitudes to to each other, etc. It makes me understand a lot of things which I would never have any opportunity to learn in architectural design. Uh, this this is a completely different. Uh, it's very technical. It's very engineering, and it's very. Um, a lot of method, which is uh, just a very technical, and um, to, to working in in the education uh, is my path to understand the human being. So I I like it also because I can I can learn a lot of things uh, which make me look at my surroundings differently and uh, treat my colleagues and my uh, families differently and my kids, of course. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I, because I, I have a question. Um, I think, I, I know you, but uh, you, you, um, but you, you create the school, but because you are architect, you you did also the the, the, the school, right? Also the, yeah, the, design, uh, the, the first the one, design. also the second, yeah. the second building, you redesigned yeah. the, 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 the school. So, uh, well, what, what, what was your uh, creative process in, I think, about uh, um, design at the school? Because I don't know if it uh, was your first experience to design the school or you already uh, designed other school, but how you, um, did you visualize before the, the school or this is, was like, you know, step oh, by step, yeah. the process, mm -hmm. like, uh, I think Montessori, we call them, uh, 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 the, uh, I think, house. Um, I think uh, to be, uh, being an architect, uh, make me to, uh, I have my, of course I have my, uh, own method to enter to start a design and I think school or not school Montessori or not Montessori this is not the uh, this is not the my first question the first one is that I have a location and uh, I have to visit it I have to uh, to see what what's the site and to understand the condition of the site from uh, not only the spatial spatial condition and also the technical part and uh, the orientation, the lightings and the, 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 the outdoor spaces, uh, accessibilities, etc. And then I will talk to, to the user. The user for the school for the school is ourselves. Uh, it's not ourselves. It's our teachers actually. So I talk to the teachers. Uh, but for another project and just anyone, and I will just talk to the client, which is the the client. There are two kind of client. There are kind client to invest, so they pay for the space. The other client is the users. I think that both are very important because the users will just explain, I need that, I need to do this. And my, my, I will start my day from the morning to the night using it this way. And we architects have to understand perfectly what they need. Yeah. And of course you have another side, which is the guy paying the project. Sometimes it's the users themselves. Sometimes it's the investor. So investors, they need uh, benefits uh, that's completely understandable so you need to control the budget you need to um, you know to analyze all these uh, uh, elements and uh, the interest of uh, everyone and the put them together and you will understand what's the best solution and also we architect we do maybe 15 projects uh, a year but your client, you do it maybe only one for their life. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, if it's a private house, it's for their life, maybe only one time. And uh, for some other people, uh, for example, some developers or some real estate developers, uh, but they do one project every three years or five years. Mm -hmm. uh, for any, your client, they are not doing so many projects as yours. So I always, always listen very carefully what they say, even some critics, even they don't like your project, but it's because they, it's because you don't get 
what they need really mm -hmm. because they 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 count on you to realize their dreams and the, we architects are not artists we yeah. cannot just do our dream mm -hmm. but of course we, we we have the pen and we have the capacity to to realize to visualize their dream and uh, we can do it uh, functionally and aesthetically uh, and uh, maybe with benefits uh, if, if it's a commercial project. And that's the best project for me. So the school is the same method, but the, 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 the difference is it's my first time also I am experiencing the same role. So I am the investor, I am the user, yeah. I am the architect, <laughs> I, I am everything. And uh, I think it's also this project that makes me understand how to balance, to, to spend the less money possible, and to make the space uh, as much uh, beautiful uh, as possible. Yeah. But how to find the um, but yeah, the right because it's sure because yeah. the school yeah it's it's your your school but at the same time school has mm, need uh, some particular material some particular uh, furniture and but at the same time yeah it depends the budget you have <laughs> you need yeah, you need yeah, yeah. with that yeah. uh, with the space. So mm -hmm. I enjoy a lot uh, this, uh, but I realize also I prefer to be only architect. <laughs> Well, well, right. because, uh, you can because it's not using my own money and uh, you know <laughs> for the school I'm using my own money and <laughs> that's different and I cannot do the design I cannot realize everything I want but mm -hmm. as architect I, I can I would say I'm more free so I appreciate my freedom actually I'm more free to design when I'm only architect oh, okay also if uh, if we um you work for some client uh, you, you in your mind you, you you think you are more free too because some client I'm can also for a certain point for a certain point i would say anyway uh yeah it's not i depend it depends <laughs> Of course, for my if I am the client, I'm just designing what I I want. But because I have to spend money also, so I said, ah, oh, no, I have no, uh, I don't do this because uh, it's too, <laughs> too too expensive. I don't do that, and it's too expensive. Actually, I'm just doing some basic uh, thing mm, because it's a school, and uh, we we don't want the school to be too expensive also. And we have very reasonable prices. Yeah. And that's also the reason I have to economize, uh, econo make, make the economics on yeah. um, the budget of the construction. So, I mean, for other projects, more commercial one, I, I have much more comfortable budget for, for my design. And mm -hmm. um, I'm just doing with more time, more, more, more budget. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Lisha. And it's very, very interesting and uh, really to understand also the um, creative process uh, in uh, in all your your project. And uh, um, uh, there are uh, um, other uh, um, there are other projects in uh, in <laughs> in your mind, or because <laughs> you are. No, so much in advance my the, in all my life I think I never never really uh, planify in advance my decisions my important decisions mm. for example uh, when I decided to go to uh, France when I decided to have to marry when I decided to have kids and it's never a real decision and it's never decided okay in two years I will do that it's never happened to me so but but I, I every one every year over every two years I I I feel something exciting me so much and I will do it um I don't know what's 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 my what can be my adventure this year I don't know with the COVID with the virus the coronavirus make me uh dream a little bit less because I we don't even travel so I don't know, but yeah, I, I am a very random person. I'm not really uh, uh, planifying my dream, but when it's coming, it's coming. And I just uh, follow my, 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 my self-motivation first, I think.
Do you think, um, uh, would you like it to have a, a maybe a, another La Maison Montessori uh, in another country? In because this is a La Maison in Paris. In Paris you know what? You, you know why? It's since very, a lot of years, since years, my friends asking me, uh, Chinese friends, actually, <laughs> because they are Chinese communities living in Paris, and yeah. there are a lot. Yeah, a lot. Okay. They are having kids and they are having, and they say, ah, oh, your school is so, so much fitting to our community in Paris. And why you don't open one in France, in Paris? And I would love, I would love, but, um, but I'm not living in Paris now. And, uh, but if we can find uh, some opportunities and especially location, because in Paris, so much regulations, uh, it's one of my reason I, I, I decided to come back to China in 2007 because uh, I felt in Paris, at least as a foreigner, maybe as French is different, as China, as foreigner in Paris, um, it, it's very limited because too much regulation and too much um, uh, code, I don't know how to say, social code, it's not a regulation maybe, but it's um, the thing has to be in this way, uh, not in another way, otherwise they will look at you in, in a strange way, so I, but, but Paris missing me a lot, I remember uh, when I was, it was in 2001, I think, when I went to Paris, and uh, because I'm, you know, I'm a designer, so, you know, France, uh, Paris for me it's so <laughs> beautiful city and I remember as a uh, student and you can visit the museums free and there's uh, so many museums mm -hmm. just uh, I was just uh, uh, I mean the five six years I passed in Paris was so fast because I feel like I didn't even do uh, you, you didn't even finish visiting Paris or something <laughs> like that <laughs> yeah I, I miss, miss friends, actually. Mm. And I think also the creativity is coming from the, the confliction uh, sometimes. So when you have different uh, environments and we have different culture and when you don't, when you have a gap between uh, two things, when you have the conflict between two things and uh, sometimes the creativity is coming from that. So yeah, right. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. Yeah, because it's, uh, the, the the difference can uh, can uh, can help to to find solution and uh, yeah, because the, the only way to to solve the problem is to be creative. And if you fix to your idea and you don't want to uh, look at around or you don't want to try other solutions, then you just don't go forward. Mm, okay. Sometimes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lishan. It, it was uh, it was great. And uh, the the next time I would like uh, uh, visit the, the the school. I know the school, <laughs> but I would like uh, no the people can uh, can see the, the beautiful school and uh, the environment, uh, uh, all the material. The really if they can feel uh, by the I school. Love them. The, I the love school to show it's you great. online or offline. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm so proud of our school. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I would like it. I don't know if you have uh, some uh, some word for finish uh, this uh, this interview for uh, the people. They uh, maybe help uh, or maybe some some people they are interesting and maybe what you you are doing or the way uh, you are thinking. So I don't know. Like. Um, uh, the beautiful life you have, a lot, uh, a lot of energy, uh, a lot. <laughs> life is the life. Uh, everybody is in French is c'est la vie, and uh, it, we all know it's not only pink color. Uh, I mean, uh, that in any position, in, in any stage, I mean, any stage in your life, young, young childhood or young people or middle age or old, uh, I think every stage, we our life is full of full of uh, possibilities and full of um, uh, uh, surprises. And, uh, and, and, and uh, 
what, what I try to do is not to uh, compare or look back to what I have done. And I, I, I just uh, try to um, be relaxed to myself and, <laughs> and to be open. Uh, I think enjoy uh, the moment is the most important and just to follow what you feel, uh, really feel inside of yourself is also what you really want is also something sometimes difficult to, to feel, but I, I think it's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Okay, so th thank you so much, Lishan. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Olivia. See you soon. Yeah, see you soon. <laughs>